असलम एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल एंड इफ़ यू लाइक टू ट्रेवल एंड लव टू एक्सप्लोर द वर्ल्ड दैन डेफिनेटली यू आर ऑन द राइट चैनल सो प्लीज़ सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल एंड कम विद मी इन दिस वीडियो आई टेल यू द हिस्ट्री ऑफ अल ओला विच इज़ इन सऊदी अरेबिया इन मदीना रीजन एंड आई विल टेल यू अबाउट द ओल्ड टाउन ऑफ अल ओला विलेज एंड आई विल टेल यू अबाउट द अल इज़ाम मॉस्क विच इज़ वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट इन आर हिस्ट्री सो लेट स्टार्ट द वीडियो सो डोंट मिस एनी थिंग बिकॉज इट्स वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियो वेरी इंफॉर्मेटिव वीडियो वॉच टिल द एंड सो द हिस्ट्री इज In the 12th century, Al Ula Old Town became an essential settlement along the pilgrims' route from Damascus to Mecca. The city gradually replaced Qura to the south of Al Ula and is favorably mentioned by travelers from the 12th to 20th centuries. When modern Al Ula was constructed nearby, the houses were designed to be attached to one another, providing fortifications. which hints to defense being a priority for the city's early inhabitants at one point the city was assessed by 14 gates which were open in the morning to welcome travelers pilgrims and other visitors and closed each evening the town consisted of more than 900 houses with lane passing in front of them some of the lanes were roofed to increase the area of the upper floor of the houses the town houses consist of two stories first one was located to receive the guests and storage while second was used as the living area al ula town has 900 mud bricks houses 400 shops or town square traces of originally stone and mud brick structure can be found at the remarkable site which is winding alleyways windows a glimpsing hidden lanes and rooftop terraces that only hint at the world within the friday mosque of the town it was built of stone and interior walls were coated with clay the mosque were restored on several occasions the last of which was in 1419 and 1998 to 1999 at the expense of a local citizen a visitors can peek into the masjid al izam the restored friday mosque mentioned in historic documents as having been visited by the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam who prayed here and designed the mihrab in the ninth year after hijra as the prophet was on his way to battle he marked the qibla using bones because he could not find any rocks or blocks travelers will also be able to see the town's tentora or sandil where residents track the changing season and organize to assess water and other resources this is sandil the shadow of the sandil was used to control and divide water consumption from the spring and well to each farm this avoided conflicts between farm owners and tribes and this is tantora Tantora sandal which marks the start of the winter growing season this sandal gives it home the winter at Tantora annual festival and last but not the least explore old market street in Alula old town and shop a variety of retail stores featuring local artisans entrepreneurs cafes and more culture activities handicraft stores local speciality foods to name a few are featured for guests to discover and learn more about the wonders of alula the market is open daily 9 am to 12 pm and 4 pm to 11 pm so guys this is the whole alula visit do come and this is a historic place and uh, Saudi government uh, really uh, put effort to uh, attract the uh, tourist so 
uh, do come and uh, if you like my effort to show you this and know about this and subscribe my channel and like my video share my video and comment on the video thanks for watching allah fest